Hey everybody, um, I am Jeff Beveridge. I am teaching your students in Secondary Math 2. I just wanted to make this video to answer any questions or concerns that you ha might have leading up to parent-teacher conferences. So right now, um, on the screen, you should be able to see um, what my Canvas course looks like. Um, my class requires the students to be in class. There's not a whole lot going on in Canvas, but I do um, post a lot of things that I do in class in Canvas for students that perhaps miss a day or uh, need some more extra resources or materials. So just kind of a walkthrough on the home page. Actually, let me go to this view right here. So this should match a little bit more closely what your students will see. So on this page right here, the home page, students will see a couple things. Some announcements. So these announcements I make every now and then just to let the students know uh, or give them any reminders of things that are uh, upcoming. And then they there are the modules. So on the home page, you'll see announcements and the modules. And the modules usually consist of the assignments. So pretty much the home page, you can see just about everything that you see right here, just not the grades or the files. But in any case, so the modules just mean that it's just sections that we have in the class. So we are pretty much just wrapping up unit one. So students should have been able to gone through um, all of unit one. So for unit one, you can see here that I have the notes. So these notes are what we go over in class. Um, I post a PDF of my notes so that students can download them if they miss class or anything like that. They can print them off at home. Um, and then I usually post a video or two about the content that we covered in class. Now, these aren't my videos. They're just YouTube videos, but they share the same concepts, the same content, and they have example problems that students can can reference so they can use these if they miss class um, and then you can cycle through these modules if you go to the next part it shows up with 1.1 homework um, so homework is assigned after we finish a section in class um, here is a list of problems from the book I don't usually give out the book because we use big ideas math software and so this is an online software that students can do their homework so they don't need the book. Um, you'll, they'll see upcoming assignments here uh, if there are any to be displayed. And then if there are any late work that they haven't submitted um, here, it would show up in the overdue. So they should be able to click into these, start it, and then once they're finished, they just have to go to their name and there should be an option to submit the homework. And then I will see their homework grade in um, in big ideas and I record their um, I record their uh, homework grades in um, canvas here in grades and so you can see their grades here um, that being said uh, I don't typically go to power school for my grading but canvas does update to power school um, there they, they sync together so Canvas is always the most up-to-date um, for grades, and Canvas will eventually update into PowerSchool once it syncs. It might take overnight or something like that to, to do that, So, just so uh, you are aware of that. Um, as well, so if you go to Files in my course, um, all those files, that those PDFs that I list into the assignments you can also find here so unit 1 1.1 notes if you go here you'll see my notes and I'll have them all posted here so that's generally how my class is ran um, uh, other things to note we just recently had our first test in unit 1 I'm sure there might be concerns about students grades on those I, I do allow a retake um, for my students they just have to have all their work turned in so, for example, if they took test one, they didn't like their score, they can come in and retake it afterwards if they have 1.6, 5, 4, 2, and 1 homework all turned in. Um, on top of that, I only give a retake um, I, um, if students took the uh, original test on time. Um, 
because once I give back the test to the students, the answers are then available. And so I don't give them that same test. Um, but then at that point, the only other test that I have is the retake test so they can take that test. Um, so hopefully that's not too confusing. It's a little weird, but, um, but yeah, if there's any concerns about that, just reach out to me and we'll, we can talk about, um, how that, how that goes. Um, and if there's anything else, just let me know, email me. Um, and if you need to set an appointment for a parent teacher conference, please do that as well. And I'm, I'll be happy to discuss anything that you have. And, uh, um, Sorry, I have a motion censored light. So, um, but yeah, that should be my class. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to meet some of you, and hopefully, you found this video um, helpful. So, see you later.